Hello, Jason. This is Terry Schaefer, and I just wanted to give you a quick update on your swing and some of the good things that I'm seeing in your golf swing and things that we could work on to make it better for you, and I just want you to understand what's going on. On the right, I have Charles Schwartzel. I'm comparing your swing to his just so you can see some of the things that I'd like to get into your golf swing, and let me begin by putting Charles Schwartzel up here and telling you what I'm looking for. One is that uh, when the shoulder, when he starts to take away the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the club all move together, and I want you to see how everything, this is what we call a one-piece takeaway. So I'm looking for this in your swing that everything starts together and then secondly that the uh, club does not open too quickly as far as that goes. You can see right here uh, the club head is not rolling open that quickly which means it'll get square a lot easier when he's coming through. Next I want you to see that his shoulders turn all the way to the top of the swing and I want you to pay close attention to something I call the retained angle and that's here from the shoulders to the hands and down the golf club and this is called the retained angle because as Charles Schwartzel starts his downswing, you'll see his hips, his lower body move out, and everything starts to move in a really nice fashion. But look how sharp that angle is getting on the way down. When I was a kid, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, all these great players had this angle coming into the ball. You can see his lower body is moving out, and you can see the angle is really being retained such that when his hands come into the ball, and this is a given, that the hands are well ahead of the golf club. There's still some of this angle, so it's been retained all the way down this far into the swing such that when he makes contact with the golf ball you see the club still behind the hands and then boom after he makes contact with the golf ball the left arms in a straight line with the golf club and that's the position I'm looking for in your swing and then his arms actually swing out extend and rotate uh, over and this is something I very rarely see in the average golfer this rotation of the arms and the extension such that there's plenty of room here between his chest and left arm. It actually separated from the body. This is called leverage. It creates a tremendous amount of power in the swing. Now we look at your swing what happens is you're coming back beautifully but you can see how the hands are actually behind the golf club uh, if I drew a line again off your left arm here at this point you can see that the golf club's actually ahead of that position. I'd rather it not be in that position. So I would recommend that back here at the beginning that you create a straight line between the left arm and the golf club down to this position at the golf ball. Okay, Your one piece takeaway is great. You get back to the top of your swing here. Your shoulders turn. Okay, uh, One thing is that the club does rotate open pretty quickly so I do worry about that. Uh, but as you get to the top of the swing your left arm is in a much straighter position than it used to be. I'm very very happy with that. But look closely at this retained angle. This is extremely important in your golf swing and I want you to learn how to do this and I can teach you. On the way down as your body moves back you'll see that your lower body is a little bit slower than Charles Swartzel's is on the right. So you can see your hips and body aren't turning quite as fast. And as you come down, you will see this angle actually get too wide too quickly. Now what this causes in the golf swing is it means that your right arm is starting to take over the golf swing and this may actually cause you to hit into the ground behind the ball or what we call heavy or fat. So you can see your, your club is almost in a straight line with your left arm right here coming into the golf ball but the beautiful thing that we've helped you create over a little bit of time is that you get into the golf ball and now you have created this straight line between your hands and the golf club but I can tell you if I went back to this position right here where I'd really like to see your club is in this position where the club's trailing way behind the hands such in the same fashion as Charles Schwartzel is coming down into this position you can see that this angle is, is the club is really trailing well behind the hands and that's called lag you'll hear it on the golf channel all the time and then when you're coming down and through here you can kinda see into a good position there look what happened there your left arm broke this is called a chicken wing a little bit of a chicken wing right there and you can see this position kinda broken down whereas if I bring Charles Schwartzel through you can kind of see it gets into this position with the left arm in a straight line with the left arm and it does not break down, the left wrist does not break, the arms rotate over. If I take you to that position when you come through you'll see that your arms have not rotated over and this accounts for a lot of the reason as to why your shots go to the right instead of straight down the line. So I'm really going to work hard on getting you to do the release properly which is what I work on with a lot of students and then get your lower body moving through much faster so that your your right foot actually starts coming off the ground right about there. Charles Schwartzel's right foot actually comes off the ground right about there. So you can see his body's really pulling it through. So we're going to work hard to get your body pulling it through, get the extension and the release properly, and then finish the swing. 
So to recap this very short synopsis that I've sent to you, what I want you to see is that at, we do want to create a one-piece takeaway with the hands, let me go back to the beginning, staying more over the golf ball or in front of the golf ball, and then take you all the way up here to the top of the backswing, slightly straighter left arm, teach you how to retain this angle on the way down, okay, which you can see we're losing it very quickly, and then have you release your arms properly to where they're turning over in a much better fashion with a fully extended left arm. So I hope this has enlightened you as to what I'd like to work on, and I look forward to seeing you. Let me know, and uh, we will get started. So I really, really appreciate your coming to see me in the first place. Thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you. This is Terry, over now from the Terry Schaefer Golf Academy at Potomac Ridge. Thanks so much, Jason. Bye-bye.